Hello and welcome to In My Element and the chemistry topic acids and alkalis and this is lesson one. So in this lesson we're going to take a look at what an acid and an alkali is, what the difference is, um, how you measure their strength and what the pH scale is and also um, the different indicators that we could use. So in this image you or these images here you've got some different substances which of these contain acids or which of them are acids. So it's, uh, lemon juice, bleach, vinegar, a battery and some toothpaste. So the lemon, the vinegar and the batteries all contain acids. Um, lemon is a citrus fruit and they are traditionally acidic. Vinegar has, um, is a weak acid and batteries contain acid inside them. The bleach and the toothpaste are all alkaline. Um, there are quite a few cleaning products, household cleaning products that are also alkaline along with bleach, uh, including oven cleaner and the cream cleaner you can use to scrub your sinks with. So taking a look at the differences between acids and alkalis, acids have a much lower pH. Their uh, pH will go from one up to about six. So a strong acid will have a pH of one or two. Uh, acid, one of the, it's a similarity really because acids and alkalis are both harmful in different ways, but they are harmful to us. And many fruits are acidic. We've already looked at lemons there. Oranges are also acidic. Um, you've got lots of citrus fruits and they're acidic. So alkalis have a much higher pH. Their pH will range from 8 up to 14. So if you've got a strong alkali, it's got a pH of 13 to 14. We've already said they can be harmful. And as I've mentioned, many cleaning products are also alkaline as well. Now, to determine the difference and the strength of an acid or an alkali, we use the pH scale and it ranges from 1 to 14 and uh, it can be done on a, on a colour range as well. Now, you will use this pH scale when using an indicator to test whether a substance is acid or alkali. This pH scale is often used in conjunction with universal indicator. Now, you can see it above that there that you can have a strong acid around pH 1 or 2 and a strong alkali around pH 13, 14. pH 7 is neutral, so pure water will be neutral. Then you can see where they've identified the weak acid and the weak alkali. So the idea being you'd have a random substance and you'd put a couple of drops of universal indicator into it and then you would match the colour to the correct colour on this scale and that would tell you the pH then you would be able to identify whether they're acid or alkali and strong or weak. Now, uh, to do that, you've got to have an indicator. So an indicator will be a solution or a specific type of paper that will change colour. It changes colour when it's added to the solution. You'll either drop the solution in um, or you'll add the paper to the solution. And the colour change then helps you identify the type of solution you have. And there are several different types of indicator. So the two I've mentioned are universal indicator and litmus paper. Now, um, litmus paper won't tell you the strength. It will just tell you if the solution is acid or alkali. Red litmus paper will tell you that the solution is acidic. And blue litmus paper will tell you that the solution is alkali. We've already said about the universal indicator. So if I skip back a couple of slides. So when using universal indicator, you'll add the drops um, to your substance that you want to identify and then you'll match it to this pH scale. And the bonus of using the universal indicator, along with a couple of others, um, means that you can identify the strength of the substance as well. We hope you found this chemistry lesson useful. Make sure you've hit subscribe on YouTube to get all our regular updates and videos.